episode 3, The Bologna Incident. <laughs> okay, I need to keep track of time now. Yeah, okay, cool. What if I were more than just a dude, though? <laughs> what? You're a dude, though. Hello, how are you? Uh, are you okay? I'm a dudo, I'm a dudo. What's wrong with your, uh, with your friend? He saw the truth and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us alone, your head will frighten the children. <laughs> Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never. How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weirdly shaped head? I didn't mean to offend. I was... Hmm. <clears throat> Go bother someone else. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since, our people are, are drawn without limbs. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What sort of beast could uh, do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. This is amazing. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend. No, I'm sorry. Don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen for over 100 years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Just take that ladder down. It's always a ladder down. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Hello. You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. They have been deleted. <laughs> Five seven eight U. I'll oh, take a screenshot of this because that's the puzzle of that uh, of that item I picked up. Right? Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the stakes for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Must believe the beast to be dead, though we know better than that. What is the Great Hall? Eons ago we created a Great Hall in the papery fabric of this world. A hole <coughs> that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you? Everything? Damn you, because of you I finally decided to try and fill rank 1 after all so that I can use that extension and uh, it will take weeks of background. Yeah, but I mean, you don't play a lot of games in Wu. It's much easier... It's, it's much... <laughs> It's much easier for you than for me. And I abandoned mine, practically. It will be easy for you, don't, don't worry. Okay, but no. I'm here again, okay. Oh, this is the Great Hall.
250 played games? That's like nothing. <laughs> but but yeah, I haven't added every game I played. I mostly added only games I've played on on stream. Some I added which I played off stream, but most of the games there are played on stream. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up. Huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, my dear. I aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of class, okay? Sure. It won't happen again. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. Hmm? Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests before leaving. Hey, freak! Nobody likes a goody two shoes, Sally Face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch! I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once, maybe even make a friend or two. Fuck off. I have more friends than you'll ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue, I'm sure he... What the hell, asshole? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. Not... That will just make things worse, trust me. I've dealt with uh, bigger bullets than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on, I... You can't, I'm... There. Looks like it was just a small scratch, don't worry. You can hardly see it. Uh, thanks, Ash. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick, I'll kill him. Larry, I'm fine, it's okay, don't worry about it. Hell's right, if we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. And he'll probably just haunt the school and we'd be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. <laughs> says the group skeptic. You know, I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much even for me. Are we really just gonna let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it, plus think about it, who knows what his home life is like. He's got a lot of pent-up rage, there must be a reason. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switch Bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Huh? Seriously, I've never seen anyone love that crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal, and he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. I love her. I love her. This is... These are... Wisest words... Ever say, said by... Fictional or real character. This is like... This is what you must say to pizza haters. This is it. Right? You don't hate pizza. It's cooking. Okay, let's go. Maybe he's an alien. Ah, that's all we need. Psst. Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> on this game. The next day, Bologna Day. What the fuck?
Does that bologna smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's... I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard this made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Bologna Day last week to you? Oh, hey, you guys, don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of the day. Group huddle? I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun, I'm going to stay here with Chuck. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this Bologna. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef or it's expired or something. Or bad goats, I'm telling you, dude. The shit is funky, it doesn't taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken and or turkey. What, man? You're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Oh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something, there could be an issue with the lunch meat, I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab and see if I can find any bacteria or signs of ex expiration, however it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab, Larry and I will try to get more information on the Bologna. Sounds like a plan. Uh, uh. Hi Kim, we wanted to ask about the Bologna. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why you want to know about Bologna, eh? Something wrong with, wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no, we were just wondering where it... You kids go and sit back to chairs now, no more question. Do you think we could just see the package or... No packages for you, just butts in chairs, go on. Well, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy, I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something, dude. What if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if... If this town has room for another conspiracy theory, though, I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files while you do that? I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I have this backpack since I started going to school here. It's a little worn out the edges. There's some of my textbooks. Todd suggested I take physics this year and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is fascinating and filled with mystery. A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. We usually use paper clips to open our lockers. It's faster and we don't have to memorize combos. If I had a paper clip, I could get into the other lockers. Okay. Window. The teachers are in there. I need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe if I make a loud enough noise. Ah, okay. My inventory is, is empty. Birds. Yeah, birds. I can't see them. They must be hiding. Okay, so we have birds. Hey, Einstein. Yo, Todd. Find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the Bologna ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? She went to get some materials for me. I recommend that she look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet is locked. I need something in there. It has the Bologna. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me. But now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm, could use some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. We'll see what I, uh, what I can do. 
Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. What kind of tea cream? Awesome. It came out and I was able to get the door unlocked too. I must have been close to getting it open with a pen. Alright, now that I've got what I need, time to head back to the old lab. Cool. I'll meet up with you and Todd in a little while. I have to figure out a way to get the ingredients first. Okay, now I can try this. Todd is never short on supplies for his inventions. I don't know how he does half the things he does. The guy is a genius. This potato light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed in class. I'm surprised it's still going. Not much of a surprise that Todd's locker is half filled with books. I really admire his passionate curiosity and hunger for knowledge. Todd and his boyfriend, Neil, they are always happy when they are together. That makes me happy too. Is that... Yeah, four items, right? Okay. What about here? Larry's backpack. We've been through so much over the last two years. He's more than my friend. He's family now. I don't know what I'd do without him. That's one of my paintings. I was gonna throw it out, but Larry insisted on keeping it. He said, great art doesn't need to be beautiful as long as it conveys genuine emotion and I feel the shit out of this man. I really do. Larry's art stuff. He's so messy, huh? In a way, I sort of admire that carefree mindset. I think that's an older drawing that Ash made. She actually thought Larry a lot of what he knows now. She's a great teacher. We may have never become... Uh, became close if it weren't for Larry. And again, that's it, right? It's, it's weird. Oh, I should go to Larry, maybe. Did you get past? Oh, the, uh, did you get past? Yeah, good thinking with that distraction. Dude, I saw her file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it, so I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can just take the file. No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright, you're the boss, Ali. So what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. What now? The birds again? Maybe I should just scare the birds. Tennis ball is perfect for distracting the teachers. Now I need to figure out a way for Larry to quickly get the info from Kim's file. Oh, uh, the camera. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, take the camera. Here, use this Ash's camera to take a picture of the files. Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. Showtime! Oh, what was that? I don't know. I don't see anything. Did you get it? Dude, the file is missing. What? How can that be? No one else could have went could have went in there without you seeing them. Uh, just jerking your chain, man. You got a picture. Oh, you butt nozzle. <laughs> Score. Let's take a look at it. Okay, name. Kim Yazi. Address. Higher date. I think I know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. You got it, dude. 
Okay, let's go to the lab now. We are bird watching. Where are the birds? I'm all right, Skip. Just want to finish this game, then get all the achievements. The second playthrough. Not a single bird. There you are. And thank you so much for the raid scare, by the way. Hey, Mark C. How are you doing today? I got something for you. What's this? A photograph of Birdie? You take picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the Bologna from? Why are you so interested in Bologna for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. It's local, made by Mrs. Packerton. 100% beef she brings from farm once a week. Here I give you some extra meats for bringing Kim nice photograph. Thank you so much. Got more Bologna. Perfect. Kim sold. Uh, Kim said that it's made by Mrs. Ackerton. Wow, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How can she make her own lunch meats? Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved here. It tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Mrs. Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. But what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? Uh, I don't know what you think, Sal. Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this Bologna. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, I'll be back. Digging the tunes. Yeah, this game is kind of... It's, uh, it's a weird one. Larry, I'll need you to be on my lookout. Wait uh, by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Damn, she keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. Combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna get that thing open? Let me, let me take a look at it. Uh, what's, uh, 3, 14, 1. Ah, okay. I think this will be it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, got it open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and... Hold on, there's a hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? I'm not sure. Little jars filled with what looks like spices, maybe for cooking. Why does she have a bird skull in here? That's kind of creepy. 
It's a Bible. The book is really old, but there isn't anything special about it. A strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box. This could be important. Still keep looking. Crystals? They're actually kind of cool. I wonder what Packerton uses these for. A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they are written in another language. I can't make sense of any of it. Okay, let's take this. There's another one of these metal boxes like the... Shit! Is it happening again? Yeah, I... <laughs> oh, hey, thank you so much for the follow. Can I no I can't pronounce the name. Thank you so much for the lurk. I'm a little late, but better than never. Yeah, of course. It's always better late than never. In I or in I. In I now. In I now. In I. Okay. Hello, in I. I hope you're doing well. Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But never mind, let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Depends on my dialect. I don't know what's my dialect. Cluster fuck of English dialects. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Pecaturin's uh, desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this check for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right, let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can get, uh, maybe I can help out after, after that though. Later that day. I'll need a few minutes to get in ready. That's cool, I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Okay, so meet in 202. Oh, hello there, Sally. You sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. I was just a bit distracted by my thoughts, you know me. Did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie. We tell to you ourselves to create a false sense of hope. What do you mean? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending. Death. We can't know that for sure, Rose. And even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost long ago. I'm afraid. Thank you for the lurk. Enjoy the lurk. If 
thought it was the game dialogue, really. <laughs> well, thank you, I guess. What do you want, Sal? Just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. Bitch. Okay, we checked. Well, that's... No, Addison, maybe. Hey, Mr. Addison, I'm good. How are you? I'm swell young, sir. You like the new sign? I love it. Thanks to you and Larry, it almost feels like I have my own little tea house now. I do miss giving out my tea to tenants. However, I simply couldn't afford to keep up with that. I'm glad you like it, and I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. Any new tenants? I'm afraid not. Though we do have someone coming to look at a room next week, so hope it's on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terence. And if there's anything you ever need help with, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. If I could get... If I could get bunny voiceovers for all the voiceless indies I've played. <laughs> How's his mom? Okay. Hiya, Sal. How are you today? I'm okay. How you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that need my attention. Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything we can help with at least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense to my mom. You know, she's even more stubborn than me. Oh, hush, my little larbier. Mom, don't call me that. <laughs> oh, you love it. Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal, but I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around some will do me good, too. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? And if you need any help, let us know. Got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. It's Henry. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with the plumbing? There's some kind of goop clogging up or pipes. It's weird. The same thing happened a few years back too. No, no idea where the stuff comes from. But once I get all the pipes cleaned out, we should be good to go. How's Mr. Addison? Oh, poor Mr. Addison. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's a bit of a frail man. With everything going on, we should do our best to keep him optimistic. He may put on an upbeat attitude, but he's so stressed lately that he's crying himself to sleep at night. Hey, Sally Face. The lion's up today. Hey, David. Not much. Just got home from school. I'd, I have no idea what language he... What, what slang is that or anything. Oh, I thought he was we're on a break. College students are on break right now, but our break doesn't start until the end of the month. I gotcha. How have you and Sarah been? Jano is just a couple of spotsies as happy as can be, right, babe? What the hell is that language? <laughs> oh man, don't make me blush in front of our friend. Love and stew, babe. Oh, what's that? Yeah, Sal, we've been having some trouble sleeping anymore. Jano is funny, but I think it's cause those garbage kids are on break. I guess we kinda got used to the noise they make. Well, they only have a couple more days of break, so everything should be back to normal soon. That's great news. Great news indeed, Sally. Okay, and that's it. Let's leave this. Hey, Chuck. What's wrong? I keep hearing ripping noises. 
Like what kind of noises? You know, creepy kinds like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just mice in the walls or the building. Freaking. It is an old building. Mice? That's not any better. I bet it's nothing. You wanna lo uh, hang out with me and the other guys? No, no, it's okay. Thanks, though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came with, I couldn't sleep for a week. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to tell you. Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. She's very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bolted right when she came out. I know, I mean, I bet she's nice. I tried. It's just too scary. Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang with us. I know, thanks, Aliface. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should have been back already. Is there anything I can do? What, any chocolate? Chocolate always makes me feel better. Ah, oh, sorry, I don't have any. Wait, what? Hello, is, an, is anyone home? Huh? I could have sworn someone left here. Hey, Kurido. Hello there. Okay, I need some glue or something. Yo, what's up, little bud? Not much, just a uh, typical day. That bad, eh? <laughs> How have you been? Everything is straight, my man. I can't complain. How's business going? Business is great. What is that you actually do? I sell crack cocaine. Oh. <laughs> nah. I'm just fucking with you, bud. When my granddad passes, passed, he left everything to me. Wow, was he a millionaire or something? Nah, but it was enough money to start up a little business. I had brewing in the old nogging. I... Tr I... I tripled that money within a year. Tripled. That shit... That was missing a letter, right? Tripled is with two P's, no? The story... Yeah, speeding the story in Spider-Man is actually very easy. And I'm so glad you can skip everything, you know, and just finish the story. But unskippable... Unskippable cutscenes also? Ah. From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything, just show up once in a while to check in and do meetings and shit. That's about it though, it's a pretty uh, tight gig. 25 and practically retired. It seems like you worked hard to get there though. You better believe it, busted my ass up until things took off. Just wish my pop was here to see my success. I bet he'd be so proud of you, man. That's a huge accomplishment not many people could pull off. Thanks, little bud. What's, what's with the safe? I don't trust banks with my money. Or any big corporations, really. Don't you own a big corporation? Well, uh, yeah. But that's different. Uh, that belongs to me. <laughs> mm. uh, finishing Ninja Turtles Shadows Revenge for achievements next, probably. Just have to level all the characters to 10. Are those achievements easy in that game? I guess you need to beat the game on hard or something. We'll also have beat arcade with no continues. Ah, um, so that, uh, yeah, I will blacklist that game. Why do you live here? <laughs> I mean, you could afford to live anywhere. Why live in this cheap apartment room with hardly any furniture? I got all I need right here. What do you, what do I need? A big old house filled with fancy things. Can't take that shit with you when you're dead, right? It's just extra weight weighing you down. I like to lay low, live my life doing what I like, go wherever, whenever. No strings attached kind of lifestyle, you feel me? 
Yeah, I do. I think that's cool. I don't know what I do without my TV and video games, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta do you, little bud. Everyone's different. So I had to go back. <coughs> so I had to go back into work again tonight. I'll be home later. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can go something. We can do something this weekend. Love that. Oh, bathroom, yeah. What the actual fuck? Platinum all games on the consoles. On the console, yeah, do that, click. Oops, sorry, Gizmo, I didn't realize you were in here. Uh... Okay. There's something under the bed. It's it's an old photo of mom. I thought that uh, threw them all away. Hi, mom. I miss you. I hope that you're at peace. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we are going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. That's computer is on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I could figure it out. Should be something simple. Is there anything here? No. Wait, do I need to do anything with the... Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Hello, Sal. Hey, Mrs. Sanderson, how are you? Try to keep myself busy, otherwise I'll lose my mind. I fear that I'll never be able to leave these dreadful walls. Still haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately, no. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, though, babe. It's much more bearable here without that horrible demon running around. It's just so terribly grim, devoid of hope. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm sorry, I wish I could help more. Todd and I have been doing a lot of research, but... Hold on a moment, love. Yes, right here, talking to me, okay, sure, yes, okay, I understand, I will. Sal, I meant to give something to you. Who were you just talking to? I apologize, sweetheart, I've got to go now, please take care of yourself, but... would make click platinum crash it's an em envelope with my name on it ah oh, it's empty there's an old newspaper clipping nailed to the wall it's about a boy who shouldn't be alive who survived an accident that killed both of his parents the front page of an old newspaper father and son go missing it says they vanished without a trace, leaving the mother broken and alone and in what was once a happy family's home. Woman and her child abducted by aliens. This has to be one of those joke papers. It's a letter a letter with my name on it. It's empty. Am I missing something? I wonder if this is related to the skull in Mrs. Packerton's desk.
Megan's necklace, even though she can't wear it now, she's happy to have it close by. <clears throat> 8,000, yeah, amazing. Hi, Sally Face. Hey, Megan. Have you seen my daddy anywhere? No, uh, sorry, I still haven't seen him. Aww. Maybe he's passed on to a better place. I guess that's not so bad and everybody here isn't so scared now too. Even mommy started talking to me a little. That's great. I'm glad she's finally speaking to you. Me too. <laughs> I hope that daddy is happy wherever he is. I'm sure that he is. Oh, I forgot mommy told me... <coughs> she would play hide and seek i gotta go i'll see you later sally boy <laughs> okay megan i'll see you later have fun i think the second playthrough should be quick because we can just skip all the dialogues everything and just do it so maybe i mean i have no idea how much left until the until I finish the game. Then second playthrough, I think it should take around 6 hours, 6, 7, something like that. Miss Rosenberg? Hello? Where are you? Miss Rosenberg? Goodbye, Rose. I get the feeling that you were ready for this. Whatever it is, I hope that wherever you are, you're happy now. Ah, oh, there's a letter here with my name on it. That's weird, the envelope is empty. Plans for the weekend? My dad and I might be going out to see a movie or something. Maybe you and Larry could come along. I bet it'd be a good for you to get out of the house for a night. <clears throat> that sounds wonderful. Thank you for the invitation. I would love to join. How's Henry doing, by the way? It's a sweetheart, your father. I hope he's not overworking himself. Cool. That'd be fun and I know my dad will be happy to have you along too. He does work a lot. I think it helps him cope with his depression. Though, he seems like he's making some positive changes lately, which I'm glad for. Oh, I know. I've said this a million times, but I'm so sorry. You two have gone through so much hurt. Let's see you and your father out for some fun times this weekend. Get that positive energy flowing again. Sounds good. Hi, Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally. Are you boys off to another adventure? Something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. You're totally right about that. Yeah, just gotta seize the moment. Though sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know? Ray and I were just watching some television and then he passed right out like a little baby. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Uh, sure, I guess so, but you guys don't have a TV. Yeah, isn't it so nice without all that noise? Uh, yeah, well, I better be going. <laughs> the toilets, why? No need to be clean. Okay, let's go in now. What's the new gadget? Ah, oh, you weren't supposed to see that yet. It was going to be a surprise. What is it? Among other things, it's a portable amplifier with custom effects that can be used to upgrade your guitar. That's amazing. Todd, you're a genius. I can't wait to try it out. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait a while. There are still a few parts I'm waiting on in the mail. Besides, we have more important things to focus on at the moment. Right? Hi, Bob. 
Are you ready? Ready, yes. I've tapped into the security cameras and will be able to look footage of the empty hallway until you two get back. Be careful. I hope we can at least finish episode 3 today. Got it. Nice. We should go quick before she gets back. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. Good lord, we'd better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does work on a farm? I don't know. That painting gives me a weird feeling, like a cold chill. Whoa, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. Alright, let's open it up. 1047. I knew it! Is that Daiki? No, that was Skiff. <laughs> hey, thank you, Skiff. It is goats! I fucking call that shit, man. Also gross. I feel like it can't be... That's simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. Um, hi, little buddy. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> what in the hell was that? A ghost goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. Wait. There's someone in here. Hello? Uh, Mr. Packerton, hello? I don't think he hears you. Right, looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is fucked. And definitely where that rancid smell is coming from to yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then and then get out of here. All of these papers are talking about the death of Mr. Packerton. If he's dead, then who's laying in the bed? What I want to know is why the hell are there so many shit-filled diapers in here? Like seriously, like what the fuck? I know what you mean, this apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the... No, no, no mind. I don't even want to think about that. I think if the mystery ingredient was human shit, God would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? I guess so. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. Young child, please help me. How can you be? Are you dead? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity. Did Mrs. Packerton do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yet this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape the endless agony. What's in Bologna? Bologna? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave this, leave it in this state. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that, wouldn't that? It will end my suffering. 
It will free me of this torment. But are you sure? Please, child, I beg you. I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain is what he wanted. Yeah, I guess so. I just... Oh, shit. She's back. Wait, behind that, der uh, that dresser. If we don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. Hey, sorry to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I can see that. Ah, man. Am I glad to see you, Ash? I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he? It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. And please, don't tell me this is what's going into the Bologna. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. One of these keys has to open that other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything you get out of this room... Rest in peace, Mr. Packerton. You don't have to suffer anymore. Okay, what is one? Four. One. Three. Ah. That was the smaller one. Uh. Was that with the llamas? What? Happy tree friends? It was with all kinds of animals. Like animals dying in, in all imaginable ways. The most brutal deaths. All kinds of animals. I think there was... Uh, yeah, definitely there was a moose. Uh, I'm not sure about other animals. Maybe like a beaver or something like that. Yeah, my favorite was when the moose uh, chops off his leg uh, with a spoon. <laughs> oh, that was painful to watch. We, we are in a way over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. What? There, are, there aren't any bones in here. It's all just... Meat. Dude, no, come on. <laughs> Ash is right. We should get help. Don't you see? There is no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cult. Look, Charlie, Mrs. Sanderson. Who knows what else this place has hidden? We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they will want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. And what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to... Uh... I don't think I'll ever look at Bologna the same again.
I'm not even sure which is worse. At first they thought that they put shit into that. Uh, then we found out they put like human meat. Well. Well, what? You asked why I can't eat the Bologna and I've told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said up until now anyways and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story and we'll air it in its entirety, without cuts, I promise you. I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? I'll tell you what. You finished the Bologna story and I'll tell you about Todd. Okay, that was episode 3, I guess. Before we left uh, Mrs. Pinker, uh, Ackerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Hey guys, come look at this. There is some kind of trash chute hiding behind that painting. That's weird. This building doesn't have trash chutes. It doesn't look like it gets or goes outside. There's no light coming in. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. Oh. Oh well. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Oh no, oh no, this can't be happening. Please, let her be okay. We have to find uh, where this leads to you. How are we? What are we? Uh, I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no. You're not thinking straight. What if you fall to you? Or land on her? If she's still alive, that could kill her. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. I'm trying to decipher this. <laughs> I'm thinking. No, I can't. I can't. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind, just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. What's going on, Sal? Did you see? Is Ashley alright? Everything is going to be okay. Come with me with this. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs, just like the fifth floor. Is this what you Is this what you saw in your vision cell? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. Alright, you lead the way, Larry, and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Packerton's look like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect.
There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. Okay, I want to pee. I will go to pee. I will play the same video at first and and yeah and I will be back uh, in a few minutes as always. I'm still loving this game. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll be back soon. This is Bunny. Bunny is crazy. He's cosmic. And too sexy for partner. Bunny provides you mediocre content. Do you like it here? Then support Bunny and help him make his dream come true. Subscribe, give the sub, cheer, donate. Bunny will have more games, more pizza, and you will get best emotes on Twitch. Add free viewing and my gratitude. Well, actually, not that much. Support Bunny. Get almost nothing in return. Robocop. Okay. Rob uh, Robocop. Uh, half Robocop, half Terminator. Nice, nice, nice. Oh look, she's smart. She. <laughs> I've, I wanted to say she's smart, she's taking the ladder. Um, yeah, okay. Hey, Arka. It's too late. She's gone. <laughs> Why so dramatic? That was such a bad acting of her. You know, like in those uh, cheap, low-budget movies where they like, ah! <laughs> felt like that. She's about to frenzy. So it's average four. So I guessed it right. Five plus three divided by two is four. So I guessed it right. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Math. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going. Uh, again, love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.
This is a clue. Oh, hey, Rosiano. How are ya? How's morning? Good morning, Rosiano. Welcome in. I have my cam on, right? Okay, cool. So let, uh, let's explore this. Hey. Okay, I leave. Okay, I cannot leave. That's cool. Let's look for this more. This is like Phasmo. Do we have anything else? No, nothing. Yeah, I basically, basically made it yesterday at night and finished today. It was a quick one. Low effort one. The carpet is torn up here. It looks like... Mm, Oh, you finished Mass Effect 1? Nice. Now on to the second one. Let's go, Reziano. Guys, come check this out. Oh, insane? What insane? Dude. There must be an undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not in, not in any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like. I had no idea this was here. The third key from Mrs. Packerton's fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place that should could lead to. Oh, on insane. Sorry. I read it as, oh, insane, on insane. You are insane, Rosiano. Holy shit. Let's go. <laughs> go Berkey, early, early, early. Wait, wait, Larry is... Ah, uh, that voice, okay. Well, this looks bad. Incredible, this architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship, this is freaky as hell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. They must be built into the walls. It's likely that the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. No, so for... Oh, wait, what's that? Okay. Oh, something's here. Cool. Ah, interesting. One of those. An older leather-bound book. There is a symbol on the cover of a bird within a circle. The text is written in another language, so I can't read. Blood is spattered on some of the pages and the book is burnt across the bottom edge. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. What's with all the spikes? Like, dude, you can't turn around without stubbing, stubbing your toe. Shit hurts like hell to you. An old leather bound book with the symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me... An oddly strong sensation of deja vu. Intriguing, these green lights seem to be part of a larger system. Once activated, their energy is transferred into the floor below. Additionally, they must be harnessing some 
the same type of energy as the Super Gear Boy emits, since you were able to trigger them with it. What do you think that means? To be honest, I'm not totally sure. This technology isn't like anything I've dealt with before. However, it is likely that these things were used for something supernatural. Perhaps even to summon the Red Eye Demon. It's a good thing the cult isn't around anymore, the demon too. After we find Ash, we should smash everything anyways, just in case. Actually, I'd like to study some of these things further. It may prove useful in some way. Oh, use here, okay. And now power it. Hey, broken sleep, how was uh, dinner? Dude, those little obelisk fingers just got bigger. Scope it out. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. This is right. Okay, what's that? Yeah, so we need to stand on it. Dude! What? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? That scared the shit out of me. Sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but that switch won't stay on. What, can you come stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. Welcome back, Lek. Had fajita, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Was fine, thanks. Finally drinking that coffee. Oh, very nice. We were talking about the old game a while back yeah maybe maybe I kind of liked it it's from 2006 or something like that ready no but Ash isn't there somewhere so let's go be safe you two, I don't want to lose anyone else down here. Looks like there are two ways. We better uh, we better split uh, and speak we better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. Why do these things always happen to me? Now, the right one. Oh shit, no. Yeah, the right one. Yes, I figured it out. Figured it out. Oh, wow, I love the puzzles in this game. So cool. Also, when the hunt goes on sale, if a good one, it should be like 60 70% click. Okay. Me big brain. Oh, fuck no. Is the principle the same now or it's different? That was quick. 
No, it's a disaster. If I left alone and had, a and had no responsibility, I would just live on games, I think. <laughs> A lot of incentive to play comes from a desire to get away from something or to shut down. Yeah, exactly what Daiki said. Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is the, un is the center of this place. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Huh? So you pull two, dude. Hmm. Yeah, but I mean... That's not... I mean, you could want to escape even if you're living alone. Hmm. I think this weird hex thing from Mrs. Packerton's desk is some kind of key. Whoa. Holy shit balls. Oh no, Ash. Ash. Ash, are you okay? Ash. Is she still breathing? Come on, help me get her up. Basically away from the world. Yeah, but you're not away from the real world. Still, you are in the real world. With your, you know, your issues, your problems. This is just maybe individual. He's awake. What? What's going on? Where, where are we? Dude. You fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, none of mine at least. Ah, uh, man, Ash. You wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of his visions fingers and then he found this old cellar door and the in the basement and then we went down these long creepy stairs and then we found this crazy ass cult temple or some shit down here and then there were all these puzzles and traps and mazes and Dot Dot is holding the front gate open for us we should go back there This is so much to take in. I can't believe all this uh, is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Dude. Love that. Okay, so what are we going to do about all of this? Mrs. Packerton has killed a lot of people and the Bologna... Ugh, we can't just ignore this. Definitely not, judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and about Mrs. Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. 
Even if the congregation has long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as we, sp as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her, preferably like before that happens. No, think. Uh, and I can't. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They will help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right, we should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? This is Packerton. Maybe we should kill her. She's old so it shouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry, and we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be... Oh, that was wrong voice, sorry. Normally, I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. God, Larry, seriously, you guys? Think about all the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen in Addison Apartments and in Knockfell in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and the Holmes family murders. There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. God damn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today. You. I don't know, maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair. Not us though, we just have to worry about saving the world I guess. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packerton got into a car accident on the way home that same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. Wow, that's quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself if the if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day, beloved Knockville High teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me, it's the truth and you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal, it will be aired in full. I always keep my word and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend, Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. You even considered her one of your best friends, along with Larry, Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? Ali face killer trial today. Persecutor, persecutor, persecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally face killer. <clears throat> what about Dodd? Said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh, right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. 
He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking, so we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irrever irreversible. He doesn't know fantasy from reality and all he wants is to die. When he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. Prosecutor. Thank you, Click. I... I need to help him somehow. I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose that you, you will be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Todd is mad. I think. Okay, so this was episode 3 only and we are basically at the end of the stream. Yeah. I mean, if I wouldn't, you know, do voice acting, it would be faster, but I like it. So I think two more episodes. I'm awake. I'm awake already. Beelzebub. Who are you? I am Lord Beelzebub. Wow, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it is a nickname bestowed upon by my kin. Emily can be rough. Indeed. Can I get into that door? You've only just arrived. No. You may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark, there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beelzebub. Lord Beelzebub. Okay, Bobs. Can you repeat the rhyme? When I move to Vilnius, you can teach me Lithuanian. Easy click, easy. You will never learn it. Okay, in the dark, there are five. Okay, so five in the dark. Uh, the fifth, you mustn't. See. So don't look at the fifth one. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. Yeah, I saw those symbols. I just don't remember them. Ah, uh, there was one over here. So like. I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost, then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once, after being discarded, discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me and we were in love, and everything was perfect, until it all fell apart again, now there is only pain.
They are filled with regret and sorrow. They, they are in a lot of pain. They are heartbroken. Once you go through that door, there is no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. Dia, bubs. Colors are the same to you. I cannot go to one side or another. Okay, let's let's exit this. Ah, oh, where's my cell phone? Our very own local mystery and other news, Knockfell Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, a majority of... Yo! The factory has been a major source of employment for a small town. This is the third time the building has caught fire, though never have we seen such devastation as today. The authorities believe the fire to be a result of foul play but couldn't say any more at this time. Earlier this year was also the, the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest of the three where over 20 people died. Luckily, luckily, luckily this time there were no casualties, however three factory workers are currently in the hospital with minor injuries. Currently, it is unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill. They had been on a slow decline for the past and have been struggling financially. If they don't rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. Yeah, friend, I got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so, yeah. We should go Tuesday night. That's when they're last, least active. Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there, is this what is this god damn it uh, okay what the fuck is that uh, hey maple how are you today Wait, it's the girl from uh, from the tapes, right? Neil and I are gonna get Todd back soon. We may have to stick him in with you, at least until we can figure out a better solution. I hope you don't mind. I've got to run out to the shed real quick, but when I get back in, we'll get you... Alright, it's... I think I remember. Yeah. Hey, Kenna. Uh, good morning after Eve. Good evening. Hello, hello there. Welcome in. How's the Monday been so far? We are playing this weird game again. Last episode. The final prophecy of... Of what? Is it Latli? Gray? A rough and incomplete translation. The blue flame, not, exti not extinguished, still flickers in the night. He that sees between worlds, child of the abomination, wielding light beyond man, pierces through the endless black, prayer of our kind, resurrected by Asinma. His sword, blood of man, rises to protect the great atrocity and prevent the triumph of humankind. Notes. Sitlatli, a Native American seer, origin unknown, previous council member of the Devourers... Devour... Devourers... English is hard, okay. Of God, possibly of the original formation. Asenma is referring... is referring to a collection of three pyramids. I have obtained... obtained one of them and have... I'm sorry, I'm having a huge noise out there makes me hard to, uh, to focus. 
Hemigur, here it's Yano. Have a great stream, that means you're busy. Have a, uh, have a great evening, Amigur. Sal, there's something else I need to tell you. Good meal? Uh, it was okay. It was okay. The replacements were sloppy at first, but they are getting better now. It's harder to tell the difference. I can't trust anyone. Those things creep me out, dude. They aren't human. I know what you mean. So you think that pyramid thing that Dodd found could help us find Sal? It seems like it. I've pieced together what I could find about the old cult prophecies. And from what I can tell, there are three pyramids that will summon their destruction. All signs point to Sal as the one who can stop them. I'm not sure how or why, but it's the best chance we have. I always knew Sally would do great things. Don't give up on him, Ash. You have to find him. I won't. Ever. I just need to find the other two pyramids. Once, once I'm free from this fucking treehouse, I'll help you find them. Larry, I don't know if this is a good idea. What if burning down the treehouse only makes things worse? Trust me, it can't get any, any worse. I can't live like this anymore. You know, not live, but whatever. I can stay, stay stuck in this place. You don't know what it's like. It's torture. I can't feel... I can't feel it changing me. Nothing else has worked to break the binding spell. What if you end up in the black room instead of being free? There until we can figure out how to break him out. In the meantime, we have continued Todd's work on finding a cure to, re to reverse the infection and cleanse the possessed body. I believe we are close to figuring it out. We just need a bit more time. A cultist insider provi uh, providing helpful intel, but who is it? And why are they betraying the cult to help us? We still don't know the answers to these questions, though we wouldn't have gotten this far without their assistance. They provided us with details about cult operations and locations, albeit in way quickly scribbled notes. Pope's ministry, it's not simply an old church that sits on Chapel Hill. The church is the entry point for the main temple of the devourers. After the mysterious destruction of the Ad 